Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating for Christmas. We're decorating another Christmas tree. Today we are in Brian's office, but these are decorating ideas that you can use anywhere in your house. Today we are decorating with really beautiful, like deep burgundies and gold, keeping things pretty simple and functional in this space. But like I said, these are tips that you can take and implement anywhere all over your house. I have some Christmas decorating tree tips. This is, I think, part three of my Christmas decorating series. If you wanna get caught up, I will have my other videos linked down below. I think this space turned out absolutely beautiful and I'm super excited to share all my ideas and what I did in this space with you So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so here is the office. I am so in love with this room I just feel like it came out so beautiful We really invested in some super high quality like furniture pieces and I just feel like it came together so perfectly So I think it's gonna be really beautiful decorated for Christmas um, this is gonna be Christmas decorating ideas that you can use in any space in your house All of these videos are like yes, of course It's office Christmas decorating, but they're not necessarily office decorating ideas I'm just really excited to make this a festive place for Brian to work and be inspired and yeah, I'm just really excited to Christmasify this room. I did do a whole like office makeover video We actually installed like that back accent wall it was not super hard to do and it looks absolutely amazing probably like my favorite accent wall we have in our house but yeah let's go ahead and transform this room for christmas first thing we got to do i think is put up the christmas tree we moved in this corner we used to have well we still have it but a standing desk with a walking pad but we don't use it too too much so i was like brian can we move that out and put a little christmas tree here so that's what we're gonna do it's actually not little we're putting up a nine foot tree but let's go ahead and and decorate the office for Christmas. So we're actually gonna be using my original like main living room tree. This is the King of Christmas nine foot tree and then I'm using the collar. I'll try to like link these items down below. I'll link anything that I can. But I was originally gonna sell this tree and then I was like, you know what? I feel like it will fit so well in the office. So I decided to hang on to it. It's a beautiful tree. Um, so we're gonna keep it, but I'm really excited to set this up. So let's go ahead and put up the tree. so happy that this tree did not sell super fast i had it listed on facebook marketplace and i got a lot of like bites on it and a lot of questions but i'm really glad that it didn't end up selling super fast and then i was like oh my gosh it'll be perfect for the office because it is a nine foot slim tree and now that we have that walking pad and standing desk out of this corner there's just plenty of room for it and i just think it looks absolutely perfect it's good too because Typically the way I lay out my Christmas trees, the only ones we have left out of trees we own, also I was really struggling to get the top part in, this tree has a power pole, so you just like snap one part into the next and the lights automatically turn on without having to like, you know, plug anything in. Um, but like I was saying, I typically only have a flocked tree left for the office space and I know a lot of people love flocked trees I like them but Brian absolutely hates flocked trees so I feel bad putting one in here so I'm glad that now we have this extra tree since we got a new main tree this year I find myself decorating each room a little bit differently. I always like to put the tree up first, but sometimes it's not the first thing I want to decorate. So I wanted to get the tree up and in place, but I actually wanted to decorate the other areas of the room first, like this Walmart art shelf. Absolutely love this. I haven't changed the styling of it at all since we did the office makeover, but I wanted to add a few Christmas touches. All of my Christmas totes are in the garage. In the past, I might've talked about this in my last video, but I've set up like tables in the house with like everything so I can kind of see it all laid out but because I'm like nesting so hard and we have a toddler I figured it'd just be easier to leave it all in the garage and just kind of like go out there and get what I need 
as I need it. And it's been nice because it's left the inside of our house a little more clean, less chaotic than in the past when I've been Christmas decorating, which for me just means a little bit less stress. So I just wanted to come in here and grab what I needed or what I thought I might want to decorate the spaces of the office and add in those Christmas accents. I am doing deep burgundies and golds as well as a ton of greenery in this space. That was kind of my vision and what I wanted. I'm just doing lots of greenery all over the house. Obviously I live in a tropical climate so we don't have you know pine trees around but that doesn't mean that I can't bring them into my house even if they are faux in the past as well we have done a real tree in Brian's office but again living in Florida it's really tough because art or not artificial real Christmas trees are very hard to come by like Lowe's and Home Depot or like those little Christmas tree tents you like see on the side of the road they don't get trees until so late and obviously I like to decorate a lot earlier than some people so I like to get my trees nice and early I just prefer a faux tree I know some people love real trees I grew up with real trees but I like fake trees because I live in Florida and they're just so much easier to get speaking of faux I am using the my Texas house garland I got two of these in the beginning of the season when they first went on sale and I'm so glad I did because as I mentioned in my living room Christmas decorating video this is my most favorite garland I have ever worked with it is just so like real feel it looks real it's so full as you can see I'm like messing with it a ton I ended up having to put like more command strips because this garland is just so full it's so heavy um, I had to like Kind of mess with it a little bit because i wanted it to drape over the top as well as over the side whereas in my living room i really just wanted it on top because we have Bryn's toys in the cabinet there so i wanted her to be able to pretty easily open the doors so i messed with that for a bit and then i did switch out the stems in here there's definitely like a lot of greenery happening because i have a fake tree in the far corner and then a real tree in this corner so i do end up moving like some of the other greenery out because there was just way too much green and all different types happening of like plants so don't worry i will end up moving some of those out and then i just wanted to kind of play with a few different options as far as decor i didn't want to do anything to i don't know grand i just wanted to add in a few little christmas accents that were child safe for Bryn. so like this nutcracker it's not ceramic and she's always grabbing it off of here and then the tree is glass but i have it set up a little bit higher and i pushed the box a little bit farther back so that she can't access it I just love the styling of this cabinet but I did want to make a few small but intentional swaps so swapping out one of like the vintage frame artwork pieces for a vintage framed Christmas tree artwork piece this is from Kirkland's it's so beautiful it's nice and heavy it's really good quality so I swapped that out and then I just wanted to swap out this little sculptural piece for a deep red flocked burgundy tree. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the cabinet. For the outside of the cabinet, I wanted to add these little mini wreaths. These are like cedar draping mini wreaths from Room Essentials. I think they're like $10 a piece. I could not believe I found these in stores. I was lucky enough to find two. I feel like they sold out really, really fast. They are beautiful and they come with this deep burgundy velvet ribbon. So stunning. I was super, super pumped to find these in stores, like I said. So I picked them up knowing I would put them in the office. Yes, I am blocking a little bit of the decorations um, that are like inside the cabinet, but I know what's inside the cabinet. So I don't know. It doesn't really bother me that it's kind of like blocking some of it. I feel like if you go up close enough, you can like see the tree picture in the background. And I just thought that this cabinet was just begging for these little mini reads. And I think they look super pretty i am again using command hooks just to hang these on i use command hooks so much with my christmas decorating because they just peel off so easily when you are done with 
you know, your decor and taking it down for the season. And I love that I can reuse the hooks and just buy new command strips. I've been reusing the same hooks for like years and I'm just a huge fan of all their products. It is finally time to decorate the tree. I knew that I would need probably a chair to be able to like reach the top. Don't worry guys, I'm being careful. I am starting again with the biggest item first. I talked about this in my living room Christmas decorating video, but I like to start with the biggest items. I just find it's easier to find a home for those and then kind of like fill in with all of the ornament balls. I did end up breaking my own rule. You'll see I decided to add ribbon like way late into the Christmas tree decorating process, which is fine. You know, it goes a little bit different every single time. I didn't really go into this tree with like a full game plan because I've never decorated this tree with these particular items. But I'm starting off with these really, really beautiful like burgundy and gold flowers that are from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is definitely my favorite place to buy Christmas tree decorations overall I would say. I just feel like they have the most beautiful picks and ornaments and they have so many options for no matter what color scheme you want to do. I'm also adding in these little berry picks as well as these gold bells. Those two items are both actually from Target. And I'm just kind of going through my ornament totes. I'm doing these a little bit different this year. Like I have a new Christmas tree in my living room. This one I'm using in the office. And I'm decorating my upstairs tree a little bit different. So I'm getting to use all of my older items in brand new ways. And it's so fun. What's also really exciting and different about this year is that Bryn is like a whole person now. It's so wild. She's almost two. And she is super interested in all of like the decorations. She loves helping to decorate the tree. I will say, honestly, she is a champ. She's really good at like basically leaving the stuff that's on the tree and knowing that it is a decoration and that it's not a toy. But we do have things around like specific ornaments towards the bottom of the tree that she does know that she can take off and play with. Like she loves playing with the little bells, but she knows to like leave the ornament balls alone. I've definitely gotten a lot of questions about how we're navigating all the decorations with a toddler in the house. And I don't really have any tips and tricks. I would just say it's constant reinforcement of what you want and redirection to what they want. So constant reinforcement of no, don't play with these ones. Those are not safe or those are just a decoration. But here you can play with these ones and offering her a solution that makes her happy. Obviously I'm not a parenting expert. I'm just an expert on my own child and that's what works for us. Speaking of not an expert, I again, like I said, broke my number one rule, which is starting with the biggest items first. And I decided to add ribbon to the tree. I just felt like it was missing something. Um, and this is how I make my little ribbon loops. I like to do like a three part loop and I do two smaller ones on the outside and a bigger one on the inside. And then I close that together with a zip tie. I stick that into the tree and then I just kind of take the like tail of the ribbon, which I just kind of like eyeball the length and drape that around the tree. And I did that like three times just to kind of add a little bit more onto this tree and make it look a little bit more full and decorated. You can definitely do ribbon at whatever point in the decorating process that you want. I just personally find it easier to start with it if you are going to use it. That way you don't need to move things around. You can kind of put your ribbon in and then decide where everything is going to go around that.
just kind of going crazy with all of the little ornament balls as i showed earlier i like to make sure they all have hooks before i start decorating so kind of like take a few minutes put a ton of hooks that way when you get to that step you don't have to stop every single time and add a hook i don't know why that just like annoys me so i like to do a little bit of prep work before I start decorating the tree. I, for some reason, like so many of my ornaments did not have hooks on them this year. I don't know what happened. So I had a lot of ornaments that I had to add them to. And it's just one of those small little tedious things that I hate doing. Just do it. What, throw it on the ground? I could not figure out if this ornament was glass and some are on here and like obviously I don't want to put those where Bryn can get to them. I like banged it off a bunch of different stuff. Brian was like, well, there's only one way to find out. And I was like, you want me to like drop it on the ground? He was like, yeah. So I dropped it on the ground and it freaking shattered. He goes, that was kind of fun. <laughs> With the star on, this room is officially done. I feel like it is a really good mix of like greenery, but the decorations are still minimal, but you guys will have to let me know what you think down below. The reds are really growing on me. Like I have never enjoyed decorating with red. Brian really loves it, so obviously this is his office and I want him to be happy with the decorations. So I did really traditional like red, green, and gold and I think it came out so pretty. This is one of the very first rooms you see when you walk into the house and so I'm really proud of how it turned out. I think it looks so beautiful and so traditional and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Well, all right, everybody, there you have it. Another episode of decorating for Christmas with Katie. Let me know all of your thoughts down below on this space. I think it came out so nice. I'm so glad that I kept this tree. It actually works so perfectly in Brian's office space. I just think it's like the absolute perfect size. And we do have the 10 foot ceilings like all in our first floor. So I'm so glad that I held on to this tree and I had all these decorations that I didn't end up using last year that I meant to use in this space. But thank you guys so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I have several more decorating for Christmas episodes to come over the next few days. I've been decorating like a mad woman all over my house trying to get this done so that we can just enjoy it throughout the holiday season. But I love you guys all so much. Thank you for decorating and shopping with me today and every day. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.